Yeah. So in no particular order, we are just going to grab some and eat it. Okay. So first off the pile is, I guess it's this one right here. Yeah, Glenn got this one. It's a chocolate crunch, chocolate like a crunch, crunch bar. Crunch bar. And in the box, here, you want to open it, it says, this is very delicious. Here we are in a little silver wrapper, just like this, individually packed. So it's made to look like a little Mount Fuji. There we go. Yeah, and it'll have like the yogurt on top. Yeah, I, I believe it's strawberry then. Strawberry on the top and then just a chocolate. All right. Mm. All right, so next up is gonna be, I got this particular one. Why is it not? Okay, there we go. This particular one we got from the airport when I was still trying to shop for last minute souvenirs. It is a chocolate strawberry, I guess, and they have little samples, I believe, but I'm not sure. I remember this being really expensive. It was like seven or eight dollars. Let's go for it. So it comes in a silver tin box, I believe. Mm. Very wow. nice presentation. It's like a gift. So it's called Petite Chocolat. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> mm. This one has a huge strawberry flavor. Japanese are very big on strawberries. Should we rank these? Maybe. I believe... Let's, let's give a score out of 10. I believe this one has freeze-dried or dried strawberry in the middle of a chocolate outer coating, which gives it a burst. Oh, we have we need to show cross-section. I'll take one for the team and I'll eat another one. I would personally probably rank this as a 8 because it literally looks like it has real ingredients and you can see that it looks like a strawberry heart, which is amazing. The previous chocolate mountain, it is a 5. I give the strawberry stuff a 9. The, the Mount Fuji thing is like... Yeah, like five, maybe six, five, five point so, so. five. Now we are gonna be trying this Calbee. I got this from the Calbee store in um, Harajuku. Yeah. This one looks like it's um, chicken. This fried is Calbee chicken. Plus, right? Which Calbee ever. Grand. Yeah. So Calbee is one of my favorite brands of chips. It smells like coffee. So in this packaging, it actually comes like a instant noodle cup sort of thing. What flavor is this? I believe it's fried chicken. Yeah. You can taste fried chicken in here. Yeah, you can. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, it's weird. But if you want fried chicken, then it really hits the spot. Holy cow. I would rate this one, two, three. A seven. seven. Oh. Yeah, let's I go for guess. It. Uh, we just had chicken, but this one is something called the Tokyo banana. Very, very, um, I guess, famous when we see it in um, the subway stations or the train stations. I wouldn't necessarily say famous. It's just everywhere. I guess Tokyo banana is a store, um, but then we didn't actually get because it was always packed with lines, so we didn't get a chance. So when I saw this at the airport when we were leaving Japan, I was like, all right, we have to get this Tokyo banana Kit Kat. So I'm hoping it will give me some type of idea on what Tokyo banana is. Again, very, very nice as a gift. Um, great packaging. Very cool looking. Ooh. It's like a little U. It's yeah, with a banana. Yeah. Breaking off a piece. Oh, 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 I got man. the bigger piece. Okay. Ooh. I would give this one a whopping seven. Four. Ooh. 
I like chocolate banana stuff, so. Oh, yeah, I think for me I it's just, it. I, it feels artificial flavoring is like in that thing. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so then we got this one at Daiso. Is this cheese? Okay, yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's cheese cracker. The back looks like a cheese cracker sort of deal. Okay. Cheers. Imagine it like the Japanese Cheeto. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> Your face. I think it's better than Cheetos. Wow, really? Because it tastes more like cheese. Cheetos taste like, you know, processed cheese, manufactured cheese. Okay, what do you rate it? You have, you have a number? I do. Okay, three, two, one, ten. Seven. <laughs> ten? This is great stuff, guys. <laughs> so if you, you love cheese, what? cheese flavored snacks, you have to try it. So then you're saying this is the best snack you had in all of Japan? No, well, I've so far. Okay. It's pretty good. All right, yeah, it is pretty good. You want to take another bite. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so then this is a store that we were in... Um, Dotonbori. Dotonbori, yeah. So then it, this place, I believe, is just called Mina Moali. Mina Moali. Um, it's also Osaka and uh, Dantan Mori. It's a chocolate store. So literally, check this out. This is what we are opening right now. It is a takoyaki. So like individually wrapped. And I guess they're like chocolate imitation of takoyaki. Yeah. It does remind me of a takoyaki if you tell me about it. Tastes like um, polverone, which is this Filipino snack that I really like. It's like a powdered milk, and it tastes really good. So, what would you rate this? I think it's like an eight. Oh, really? For but me, it's, good. it's a six. Mm. Yeah. Maybe taste it's wise is a six. Presentation wise, and. Ooh, this is probably the highlight <laughs> of these snacks. The highlight, also, plain cheese. So they come in these the individually wrapped packaging, kind of like a candy. I know this was already going to be good. I would buy this every day. What do you rate it? 10. Yeah, it's everything I want it to be in a cheese bite size thing. I think it's a good 7. Okay, so next up we have this thing right here. <gasps> it's okay. It's just what a regular Pocky is. Five. <laughs> oh, I, I think it was a Average. little higher than five. Uh, seven. Yeah. Average. But now we have the Pocky. This is fatter than a normal Pocky. It's Come just on. a normal Pocky. It's just short. A four. I think it's a eight. Nate, that's I think double it's my good. score. Jeez. Okay. Well, then I guess we'll try the Pocky series. This one is a matcha green tea Pocky. If you stir it into hot water, does it become green tea? Ooh, maybe that should be tried. I think it's good if you like matcha stuff. No. You know. A it's... seven. <laughs> I think it's a six. So here we have is the wasabi peas. Wasabi peas. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> Don Quixote. Don Quixote. It's like a seven story shopping center. There's instant heat. But that's not the sign of wasabi, you know? No, that's the sign of a chili. Yeah, maybe it's chili mm. peas. I think for me, this is a definite eight. Yeah, I'm not too big of a fan of like hot snacks like this because there's like no substance to it. I'd say it's a seven. It does its job pretty well. It's nothing too fancy though. Next up is this thing that we bought on our first day. Is it chocolate filled mochi? It's a marshmallow. Chocolate filled marshmallow bought uh, at the family mart. 
Mmm, very fluffy. Should I just bite first? Sure. Just a very fluffy marshmallow ball. Is it crispy? I don't like marshmallows. <laughs> A three. <laughs> a four for me. Yeah, see, it's pretty low. Maybe you use this for s'mores because it already has the chocolate built in there. All right. All right. It's no mess because you heat up your, your marshmallow, chocolate melts inside, and there's no chocolate oozing around, right? That's true. You can make this as a s'more. Next up is this thing from Hakone. This is an egg that you only find in Hakone. It's a volcanic um, egg that is made in the sulfur, sulfur spring. spring water. Sort yeah, of thing. but this isn't the egg. This is a... Uh, this is a souvenir replica. Yeah. It looks like bread now. Tilt it a little. Mm, I think I'd give it a two. Maybe it would be more fluffy if uh, we ate it right away. True. I'm like that same thing, two or three. Yeah. All right, this is gonna be the good one. This is another cheese. cheese. But this one is a surumi, surimi soft sticks. Ooh. Mmm. Imitation crab meat, or maybe crab meat is called surimi. Or oh yeah, it's layered. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, this is a good one. See, this is more like an eight to me. A simple snack, but done really well. Nine. This one is another Hakone special black egg. So this black egg is basically, um, if you eat it, you're, you will gain, gain seven, years seven years of life. Of life. Another, you know, presentation with a souvenir. Does that have a filling? Is it, so it's like an Oreo. Yeah, it's like an Oreo. Huh. Literally, it is an egg yeah we're getting fatigued now too many sweets no you can't do that you have to eat them then they go bad don't be fooled by it looking like an oreo it doesn't taste like one it's not bad though really? it's five this is a fancy one Literally, I think this was like $30. <laughs> this is the Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory. So there's three types of cheese in here. We are gonna just do one. And we're doing the one on the left. The salt and camembert. Literally, they are in real cheese. Just too many snacks. It's like a fancy Ritz cracker. This one is a... Seven. Seven. These last few snacks are getting handicapped though. What? No, they're getting handicapped because we're, we're less likely to enjoy them because we've been eating. Ding, 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 ding. Gudetama. He's a very lazy egg yolk. Oh yeah, look, you can see he's an egg yolk. What a funny guy. Another presentation that's laid out like this. I don't know what this is because literally it's just, you know, it feels like an egg. Oh yeah, see? <laughs> cool. It has similar texture as the Mount Fuji one. Yeah, like crunch bar. Oh, I'm like <laughs> eating everything now. Yeah, or I'll throw it away. I think this one is a three. It's very bland. Yes. Two, three. Around there. Ding, 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 ding. Which one is that? This is the 
snack salad from Calbee. Oh, is it like veggie chips? Yeah. But next level veggie chips. Wow, this actually looks like a vegetable though. I think it is a vegetable. That's why it's called snack salad because it, it actually is a vegetable. Yeah, you know how like veggie chips, they show pictures of veggies and then it's not. It's good. I don't want it though right now. I'm gonna stop eating. What is that? I don't know. It's good, yeah. I'd say it's a good 10. 9, 10. Wow, that's pretty high. I would like it more if I was not full, that's the thing. Mm. I'm trying to give I it think, the benefit of the doubt. I think it's a 9. This is just candy. Another matcha candy. It's matcha oh. condensed milk. Individually wrapped. And I think this brand actually makes green tea because I've seen their tea bags before, I believe. It's very legit. It's like coated. It has a too very sweet. strong yeah. matcha taste. Yeah, and it's too sweet. It's that kind of combo of the matcha and the condensed milk does not do it for me. We have two more left, both of which is chocolate. The next one is going to be from this place again, my favorite yellow chocolate store. This one is a lollipop. They had us sample it at the store. It's in a little lollipop form. Very cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. It's like go. a dum dum. Yeah, but it's a pure chocolate inside. So it's a chocolate lollipop. Is that the hazelnut one? Yeah. <laughs> this is a seven. That's like a Ferrero without the nuts. I'd say it's like a, a eight. On a day that I would just want chocolate, it's probably a 10. Last one is this. Green tea Kit Kats. That's wasabi. I know. <laughs> we saw this at Don Quixote. Oh, so it comes in this little nice, again, presentation. It looks pretty, you know, traditional Kit Kat, like a regular Kit Kat size oh. bar. I'm kind of afraid. It doesn't smell like wasabi. It's not too much wasabi to it. Really? You suck it in harder. You don't feel no. the wasabi in it. What do you do? Are you breathing it no, in? I'm breathing it? it in. Try it. I don't know why someone would want this. <laughs> Surprisingly, this has a very good wasabi taste. Yeah. And it blends really well with the white chocolate. It takes a step to wasabi and then you taste milk chocolate. And then it takes a step to wasabi and then you go back to milk chocolate. Yeah. It's like a dance. Like you go back and forth between the two. Uh, I would rate this a seven. Sure. Seven. <laughs> So if you guys like watching us eat a lot of these weird things, we went to the Pokemon Cafe in a previous video, so go check that out. And in a future video, we're gonna talk about some of the like snack foods or the street food that we saw and ate in Japan. Until next time, we will see you guys again. Peace. Later.